ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂ ಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾ ತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಪಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
जस्माद प्रिया प्रिय वियोग संयोग जन्म शोकाग्निना सकल जन सुदम दुक्षदम तदभी दुक्षम अतिया अहम भगवान हुमी बद मे ही तबोधा सुयोगम यस्माद प्रिया प्रिय वियोग संयोग जन्म शोकाग्निना सकल जन सुदम दुक्षदम तदपि दुक्षम अतिया अहम भ्रमो न भ्रमी बद मे ही तबदास्वयोगम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत भोपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दैन इफ आई एम गोइंग टू लुक दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड विथ एंजॉइंग मूड If I like to get control over this whole world, then this become a great bondage for me. Gauri Goshti Poti, Sisila Bhakti Shidham to Saraswati Goshami Jal Bhopal, Paramangsha Jagat Guru said that if I am going to look this material world with enjoying mood, if I like to get control over this whole world. material world then this become a great bondage for me pure guru vishnav they never like to get control over anybody those who are having demonic character only and only they like to get control over this material world to get control over this material world mean surely i need i need pratishtha i need la priya pratishtha everybody worship me that is the reason for why i can develop this kind of attitude to get control over everybody that is the conception that is the behavior of hiranyakashipu that is the behavior of hiranyakashipu inside us bonded soul there is hiranyakashipu inside our heart there is hiranyakashipu hiranyakashipu is already there inside our heart that's why in the name of bhajan we like to enjoy we like to get control over the society everything in the name of bhajan we like that that's why we are hiranya kashipu this word mean hiranya mean gold gold mean actually inside gold everything there you know kamini kanchan pratishtha everything inside gold hiran kashipu men bed kashipu men bed where we are taking rest but here inner meaning is that here inner meaning is that enjoying mood kamini kanchan enjoying mood that is hiran kashipu that is written hiran kashipu always like to destroy Prahlad Maharaj. Hiranyakashipu always like to Prahlad, always like to destroy Prahlad Maharaj and Bhagwan. Prahlad, this word mean pro yukta lad, lad mean ananda. Prahlad, this word mean pro mean prakistho, ek absolute pro. Lad mean ananda. So prolad this word going to denote, going to, going to indicate that prolad Maharaj is not material body. 
He is full of ananda, nitya ananda. Prahlad Maharaj is full of nitya ananda. So, nitya ananda can never be destroyed. Hiranda Gosipu cannot understand that material enjoyment, material enjoyment, material happiness, material enjoyment, all can be destroyed with challenging mood. Material enjoyment, material enjoyment, everybody. That can be destroyed. That's not a big problem. But Prahlad Mara is not enjoying material ananda. Prahlad Maharaj is enjoying Nityananda. So, Hiranyakasipu surely cannot destroy this Nityananda. That Hiranyakasipu cannot understand. It is the general nature, it is the general nature of demons and rakshas. They like to destroy Guru, they like to destroy Bhagavan, or they like to destroy the Shakti of Bhagavan. This is a symptom of Mayavadi. This is a symptom of Mayavadi. Demon. Either they like to destroy Bhagavan, or if Bhagavan at all there, they like to destroy Shakti. Mayavad, Mayavadi also, they like to destroy Shakti. Destroy Shakti means they don't believe Shakti is there. Bhagavan is without any Shakti. Impersonal fungus, without any Shakti. Useless thing. So we can do whatever we like. No problem. Bhagavan has no Shakti. No manifestation, nothing, only Brahma. So, it is the nature of those demons they like to destroy Bhagavan or Bhagavad Shakti so that they can do anything they like. Nobody can stop them doing anything. Ravish. That is the nature of Hiranyakasibu. Actually, Hiranyakasibu used to love Prahlad Maharaj. You don't know. Like other, like all other fathers in a society, he also used to love Prahlad Maharaj. He used to take in lap, used to cheat, used to kiss, bless. He used to love him. He used to take him there, love him. But from when he started enmity with Prahlad Maharaj, his own son, Bala Maharaj, when he started speaking about the absolute truth. Not before that. When, when Prahlad Maharaj started speaking about the absolute truth, when Prahlad Maharaj started speaking about the absolute truth, from then, Hiranyu Gosubu started enmity, not before that. It is a nature. If you make some amicable relation with the society, don't speak about absolute nothing. You can make adjustment with Maya, no problem. Nobody can attack you, nothing. But as and when you like to point out, you like to speak about that absolute truth, then the whole world can break down on your head to destroy you. Why you are disturbing by speaking this kind of thing? Prahlad Maharaj speaking to Nishinga Bhagavan. I can come to the point that this world is really strange. We are going to, we are going to lose all of our dear and near one. Father gone, mother gone, beloved lady gone, everybody, son gone. This is a material life, unstable. Any time you can go. That's why Prahlad Maharaj speaking, yes, Madh, Priya, Priya, Biyog, Sang, Yog, Vijan. Sometimes, sometime, we are going to get together it is one kind of platform. We are playing a drama. We are playing a nice drama. You are playing the role of this. You are playing the role of this father, 
she is playing the role of mother. This way, all the nice drama. Pollad Maharaj, watching everything by his transcendental eyes of Prakita Chakshu, this world is unstable. Don't try to make any friendship with each other. Or at all, if you like to friendship, try to make a friendship with only pure Guru Vishnu. Not even with Gurudev, if your Gurudev is material. Not. Pralad Maharaj watching and speaking to Nishinga Dev, Prabhu, sometime in a family member, some new boy going to take birth, then the father going to embrace. This way, now from, you know, they are going to count him as our son, that Jivatma. Sometime going away from this material world. The boy is only eight or ten years, due to some reason, die. Like the case of, you know, Shetketu Raja, I already told. When Angirarishi came and Speaking, why king, why you are so, so sad? Actually, I don't like to run my, you know, kingdom, everything. I don't like. Why? Whatever. I have no children. I have no children. I, li I like to get children, without which I can go to hell. Then, Angira is speaking, in your lag there is no son. No, you will have to give. Like the case of Atmodev. Atmodev, when he went to suicide, because I have no son, then the one sannyasi meet in the water track, water lake, there, the sannyasi, why you are like you? I like to get son. But you have no son in your life. Hundreds of birth, you have no luck. You have done some offense maybe or some problem. No, I need son. You will have to give son, forcefully. If you like to do something forcefully, then result is not good. When you want to put some force, then the result, outcome is not good. The outcome is very dangerous. Similarly, finally Ongyarisi was ready to give him a son by doing one jagya and the first wife, first queen, she was given the residue of the jagya, she developed maturity. I mean, finally what happens? One boy took birth, but the king forget, king forget the blessing by Angirasi. Angirasi told, you are going to get a nice baby who can give you both pain and pleasure. But the king cannot understand. You are going to get such a baby who can give you pain and pleasure both. A king is satisfied with the son, not going to play it. Finally, when the son was given poison by co-wives, then they died. Then he gone mad. Finally, again, he came in different form to give some knowledge. After that, when you could realize his life is unstable, everybody can say, but who can realize from heart? That is the main question. So, Naraji Maharaj in 10th Canto with Vasudev, Vasudev Ji Maharaj speaking. At the bank of, at the bank of ocean, there is so many sand. Sand, so countless sands. One sand going to embrace each other. Suddenly, one 
big storm coming. The sand going to fly here and there. Gone. So one sand embraced with each other. Just after a fraction of a second before. But now, sand gone. This is our relationship. This is our relationship in this material world. This is our relationship in the material world. Whatever relationship we have, Paralatma is speaking, sometimes we are going to meet with each other, sometimes going away from each other. All drama finish, all role, our role finish, we are going to some other place. This is the Paralatma speaking. Anyway, but Hiranyakashipu cannot realize this thing. Actually, those who are demons, rakshas, they can never realize Atma Tattva. I am not speaking about Prahlad Maharaj or Bali Maharaj. Because externally they are demon. They have taken birth in demonic family, demon destiny. But actually they are not demon. That's why I cannot count them. But Hiranyakashipu always thinking this way. Because I already told they like to get enjoying mood. That's why they always like to. You know, Prahlad Maharaj has done nothing, no mistake. Still, Hiranyakashipu like to kill him because he wanted to speak about the absolute truth. You know it. And after absolute truth, when when he was sent to Gurukul, after that from Guru to Gurukul, one time he came back to home. Then Prahlad Maharaj wanted to test him. Prahlad, I, uh, wanted to test him. What kind of lesson you have? What kind of lesson you have taken from? Gurukul, he wanted to test him. That time, Hiranyakashipu wanted to ask him. Because he is very small boy, for five years. If you're going to put some specific question, then can feel nervous. A small boy can feel nervous. That's why Hiranyakashipu is not going to put pressure on him. He is speaking, whatever lesson uh, you think fit, Whatever lesson you have learned from your Gurukul, uh, uh, could you please speak to me in front of me? Then, Prala, then in front of Hiranyakashipu, in front of in front of Hiranyakashipu, Prahlad Maharaj told that I think, I think, tat sadhu mannehi asur varjo dehi nam. Shada samud bhagna dhiya ma shad grahat Hitvatva patam giham andha kupam Banam gataha yad harima asrahit Prahlad Maha told that teaching, I think, it is absolute teaching. Because Prahlad Maha is thinking, uh, he is speaking what you have learned from your Guru. So my Guru is actually Naraji Maharaj. My Guru is my Guru is actually, actual Guru is uh, Naraji Maharaj because from him I learned Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. So, Sando Amarko they are not my Guru, a material Guru, okay. That's why Prahlad Maharaj uh, thought it necessary to speak about the teachings of Prahlad, uh, actually Naraji Maharaj. That's why he told, Tat sadhu mannehe asura varjo dehi nam. Prahlad Maharaj is very clever. He is not speaking my father. Prahlad Maharaj is not speaking 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 father. Among all asura, you are the topmost. I mean, Tamagun Rajagun is the highest form. In you. The Hiranyakashipu thing is giving give big honor to me. Ah, yeah, now my boy is, you know, educated. He know how to give honor. 
But actually he is speaking, eh? Hiranyakas, you cannot realize. But those sadhus, they realize they are laughing. Yeah. Pralhadana is so clever. Pralhadana is speaking, Tat sadhu mannehe osuro varjo dehinam. For all jivas, those who are having one separate, separate bodies, for all jivas, those who are having all separate, separate bodies, for them, I think, this is the best teachings. Tat sadhu manne, he asura varja dehinam, sada samud bhigna dhiya, asad gurhar. Those who are always full of tension, they are always full of tension, some or other types of. Tension when coming, you know. You know when tension coming. When you have no faith in Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan. Don't understand. Tension when coming. Tension coming when you have no faith in Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Then tension. That's mean you have Dityo Avinivesh. You have some other intention. Other rather uh, not only Hari Bhakti. Then tension can come. You can look at Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava, they have no tension, they are tension free. Follow. Aranagas would like to attack him, kill so many arrangements, but Purlava has no tension. Jarabhara has no tension. Even going to put the throat in the, in the you know, device where you can sacrifice, but still, uh, uh, no tension. Because he has no second attention. There is no object of second attention. Concentrated in unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. When you are going to lose faith in Guru Vishnu Bhagavan, then it is very dangerous. Immediately we will have to solve the problem. Pure Guru Vaishnav, how you can identify? Foolish people, they cannot understand. Whatever Harikatha they hear, they cannot understand. How you can identify pure, pure Guru Vaishnav? How? When you can get all solution of your life, not one. Countless questions can come in front of that Guru, he can solve very easily. Scientific answer. But you will have to wait. Unnecessarily, if you express doubt, what for? Doubt, what for? What reason? Somebody can pass wrong remark. You know the reason for why. Passing wrong remark. Answer is always ready. Already ready. That lady who put question about from Brihad Bhagavan, they are ready, is ready, so many ready. But I have to type and give a very easy answer. Not complicated, unnecessarily. Going to lose your budget. So, Prahlad Maharaj have no tension. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, I think it is the best teaching for all Jivatmas, those who are having uh, somebody because they are full of tension. Without tension, you cannot find. Even those who are very intelligent student, even those who are not devotee, I, I already, I can show you. Those who are very intelligent student, very intelligent, not devotee, he can memorize any Shastra, can give very nice mark, very good mark in exam. You can follow them. They have tranquility. Tranquility most of the time and they have no tension. Or a little bit chanchal, but still chanchal is okay. But there is no tension. There is the first point. Tranquility can be there. Or sometimes some student is very uh, playing this, that. But brain is very, tension is there, then he cannot memorize anything. 
you can forget. Tension there, you cannot concentrate properly. Anyway, so Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Tatsadu mannehe asura varjo dehinam, Shada samudhvikuna dhiya masat gruhat, always due to star position, wrong star position, somebody is, is, is put into some danger. Unnecessary, some problems happening. For them, I think, if they can go to forest and do concentrate on the lotus feet of tat sadh manne sarovar jo dehinam, shada samad vigna dhiya masad grat, hi tvat tupatam grihamand kupam. This family life, most of the family, not all, those who are Vaishnavas for them. Family life can be compared with a blind well. Family life can be compared with a blind well, where water is not available. What is the utility of well? Because water available. What is the utility of, a, of one well? Well, because water available. If no water, then what is the utility? No utility. This family life can be compared with a blind well, where there is no water, no water, no water mean, you'll have to understand that no water mean, no water mean, blind well, no water mean, blind well, blind well mean, if, if somebody going to uh, go in search of water, you cannot get any water. Cannot get in what you have to come back from there, hopeless. Follow. I can give one example how it is applicable in your family life. I can give one example. Brajamandal Parikrama going on. Brajamandal Parikrama under the guidance of Sela Bhakti with the Madhu Goswami Maharaj and Sela Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami All thousands of devotees, they are doing. Brajamandal Parikrama, Parikram, and uh, they used to make tent. At present, they are not actually doing Parikram. If you are starting from your place and come back to your place, it is not actually circumvalence. It is not actually circumvalence. Follow. When you are starting from this place and come back to this every day, then it is no circumvalence. Sarkumbles mean you will have to round and come back. But usually at present this is there. To be frank, actually parikam means you will have to do all parikam and finally you can start and come back last moment when parikam is over. But usually people are not doing it for their health ground or that they can they like to take rest due to some prasadam. That's why I come back. Parikram means you will have to do parikram and come back last. So at that time of that time of at the time of Prabhupada or Madhuku Singh Maharaj, Kesuku India was system. They used to do parik, they start parikram. After that, finally, they used to make tent, tent, tent everywhere. With some nice water source, nice thing. They arrange that the all devotees used to stay in the tent. After that morning time, they should do arati and kirtan for thirty, and they start again there parikram. That was the system. So, as some brahmachari, they are ready to give the service that a, as a guardman. Guardman, you know, because if you call police, there is no responsibility. They have no responsibility. Or oh, they, they are material men, they can make some mistake also. Some Mataji is there, these there, so old ladies, they can, who can know? They have, uh, they have no sense control. That's why it was the system. Amadu Goswami Maharaj used to arrange some brahmacharis, essential brahmacharis, very powerful. They used to guard the whole tent, night tent. They are, Giving round so that nobody, no dockwites can come, stealing. So, one night, one old lady, old lady, everybody is sleeping. 
And that old lady around 11, 11 o'clock or night time, any time, she is going to collect water from one well. It was nearby. Because without water source, those Maharaj cannot make any tent. First of all, they search what is good or not. If good water, then they can arrange. So naturally, that old lady, very old lady, going to get some water from because night time cannot call anybody. Gone. And guardman, by chance, guardman going this way, na? they are moving around. Na? So by chance, that lady escaped, money gone, without notice, and wanted to take some water from the well. You know, there is rope, there is rope, and pot of water you have to pull. That old lady wanted to get some water from the well, I wanted to pull, but there was sleepy. At the ground was sleepy. He pull, then the back side of leg gone back side, he fall down in the in the well. Nobody knows. Old lady fall, oh, oh, shouting, but the well is very deep. The sound not coming, coming outside. Sound not sound not coming as as such. So that everybody then the guardman, which is well from this kind of thing. Uh, some year before, I mean 20, 25 years back, one leopard fell down in well. The leopard was rescued by <laughs> village man. Follow. When I was there in a uh, 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 Gokul forest, Anandaguri, those people say five years back there was a leopard who came. And that there I used to go night time in the field because no light in nothing. <laughs> so with full faith. So the whole then the, then all Brahmachin singing were from the sound coming. Very carefully they approach and they find that the old lady they're going to die. Then the shouting. Then all village men also came to protect the old lady is very weak. If you give one rope, you cannot catch very weak no. Nah? You can catch and you can pull not possible. Very old lady. You have to arrange her sitting around. One bucket will be put, you can sit, big bucket, and then you can. Then all shouting, somehow the old lady was, last time, she was saved, rescued. So many water there, the full water come out somehow. Then in the morning time, after Aroti, when Parikama is going to start, then Srila Bhakti Pumat Purigashini Maharaj, and Srila Bhakti Maharaj, they wanted to speak one nice Siddhanta, Harikatha. Harikatha. You see, the last day incident was very dangerous. If at all, at all, if at all, that lady, you know, would die, then there is big problem because the auspicious Guru Vishnu. Guru Vishnu saying there, na, there cannot be any problem where Harikatha Kirtan, then people can express doubt. Na? Is Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami, big, big sadhus there, Kirtan, how a man can die this way? It question, na? because bonded soul always full of suspicion, doubt. And if they are not going to solve their doubt, then they can fall down. Because Sangsvayatma Binashwati, any doubt regarding Guru Vishnu, their Siddhanta, Acharan, if any doubt, immediately we will put question and get it, get it solved. If not so, then it is a dangerous thing for you in your life. Follow. Then Madhu Goswami, Bhakti Bhaktivinoda Goswami speaking, last day it was very dangerous. By chance, the lady is by the mercy of Nityananda, Balaram. Anyway, one very nice teaching that well was full of water. Everybody going there to collect water. Everybody going there, those who need water. Everybody means those who need water. They are going to collect water. Because they know water is available there. They know that it is water available. By chance, if would have, you know, if it is blind blind well, then all village men know it is blind well. Blind well. 
if it is known to everybody, nobody can go. So, water available there, that's why our guardman, uh, in search of, uh, you know, to take some water, went there and found some sound there, he went to rescue. If water is not available in that well, the Brahmacharya cannot go. And he cannot find that man is there inside. So, rescue. Similar example you can give in, in material family material family life. Because those who are material family life, leading their, those who are leading their family life, material family life, they are not going to respect Guru Vaishnava. They are not going to respect. They are not giving any donation as anything. Any sadhu coming to their house, they speak heavy and drive them heavy. As a beggar, you earn money. Why you are giving? This way. This way, Parmya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Mahamuri, they are speaking. The house, household house, where usually Sadhu Guru Vishnu coming, because they are giving respect to them, giving some donation, anything, help, anyway. So usually Guru Vishnu going there. But such a house where demons living, they never respect him Guru Vishnu. They speak all rubbish, surely they cannot go. So when Sadhu Guru Vishnu going, because they respect them. So if somebody is fallen there in their family life, they can rescue. But a blind well, where nobody is going to respect Guru Vishnu, Sadhu Guru Vishnu cannot go. That the same thing in tenth canto. Tenth canto, I told, Naraji Maharaj speaking. Naraji Maharaj speaking about who? Naraji Maharaj speaking about the, uh, you know, that Kuber Atma Jo, Nal Kubo. Naraji Maharaj speaking this Siddhanta. Asato Simadandasya Daridam Paramanjanam. Asato, those were Asat. Those were less interested in our Harikatha, Kirtan, less interested in Sadhguru Vishnu, there was nothing. Asato Simadandasya. Those were full of false ego because of their position. They have money, position, everything. Asato Samadandasya. It is better if they become very poor. If they become very poor, if they become very poor, then their eyes can open due to money power, due to money power, due to position. They can they have false ego, they cannot see. So this is more practical. If they lose all their money or everything, after that they can develop some kind of some humbleness. Some not actually. Actual humbleness is there with pure, pure Guru Vishnu. Even in this material world, those who are going to show humble attitude, they are not actually humble. So this way, Pallad Maharaj giving this uh, answer to Hiranyagashivu. Pallad Maharaj speaking, Tat sad manne ho surabhar jo dehinam, Shada samad bhigna dhiya masad gurhat, Itva tupatam gihamanda kupam. Griho, this family life, material family life can be compared with a blind well. Gihamanda kupam. Banam gata hayat harima. Living this, living this kind of suicidal squad to give life in the, to lead life in family life, I mean, to, to stay in family life blindly can be compared with Staying in a blind well. So living this you know, life, if you can go to forest to lead very to lead your life very practical way. Very I mean, if you can concentrate on a lotus feet of Bhagavan, Banam Gata Yad Hari If you can take shelter of Bhagavan by and go to forest, if you can go to forest to take shelter on a lotus feet of Bhagavan, that's I think it is good. But here forest mean, people can think forest mean, forest mean they can think forest where animals staying, you know, dense forest.
But Pralhadma never wanted to speak that way. Pralhadma never wanted to speak that way. Forest actually was forest mean Pralhad Maharaj wanted to say forest, but the people thinking we can go to forest and there is no problem, we can lead our life very peacefully. But you don't know in forest you are going to you are going to you are going to forest with your bonded mind. If you are going to forest with your bonded mind, you are in bonded condition. All kama, krodha, lobo, maha, mascharjo, everything there. Unnecessarily you are going to avoid you know, problem, you are going to forest. It is problem for you. Don't try to lead solitary life. Solitary life is dangerous for you. Always try to stay in front of Guru Vishnu. They can point out your fault, eh, you are doing this. But usually we like to fly to a solitary place, <laughs> lead life very peacefully. That is the main problem. That's why they cannot rectify. It is their tendency. I can say in a very remote place, I can do whatever I like, nobody is going to come and watch. Whatever. It is dangerous for you. But when Guru Vaishnav is there, always watching, that's why at the time of Prabhupada, there was no separate arrangement for Brahmachari. All we can stay in hall, openly. This is Brahmachari hall. Not allowed. They, they can go to a solitary place, they can do anything, whatever they like. That's why, if you go to forest with your anatha, that's no, no use. If you go to forest with anatha, what use? Because anatha or can put you in trouble. Externally you are in externally you are in forest. But internally all matters are there. Externally you are externally you are going to shift. Externally you are going to shift to a very solitary place. But internally all your anarthas are there. So anartha there means material mind. Material mind means always thinking. Thinking something. So you cannot get. No facility you can get. You cannot get. So, what is the meaning of this forest? What is the meaning of this forest? Meaning of this forest, already our Pritama Brahma also taught. Pritama Vasa Sadhugan Sakas. I can stay. Eh? Not athapite padam vijadaya prasadana, not this sloka, another sloka. Eh? I can go to, I, I can go uh, and stay sadhugan sakas in, in front of sadhu, I can stay. Follow, I can stay in front of sadhu. They can stay, so there, because, they, because in front of sadhu, uh, what is that sloka? Hmm, I forget. Dekta. I, I, for, anyway, I can remember. So, uh, if I can stay in front of sadhu, or also in another place where uh, it is written, uh, Bhagavan uh, about our uh, staying. Banam tu satyikam basam. It is also, another Brahma also told, I can remember so many slokas. Banam tu satyukam basam, rajasam gramo chate, tamasam duta sadhanam, man nikatanastu nirgunam. Hello. So, stanis sita sutikatam tonubang manuvir, ये प्रासो अजीतोपी जीतोपी उसी स्तोइस से लोक क्या हम दिस लोग का सो आल्सो वी हैव डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन बागवतम इफ यू स्टे विद साधु हैं बनम तू सत्यकम बासम व्हाट इज व्हाट डू मीन बाय व्हाट डू मीन बाय स्टेइंग इन फॉरेस्ट 
what do you mean by staying in forest? Is the meaning is clear? Banam tu satikambasam. Banam tu satikambasam mean? Banam tu satikambasam mean? Always with Sadhguru Vishnu we can stay. They can speak Harikatha Kirtan, we can stay. Satik means not material Satik. Banam tu satikambasam. If I go to forest, mean I can avoid staying with this material people. Those can be compared with animal, because in because in forest animals are there, na? ferocious animal. You don't know. In forest, there is for, forest. You can find ferocious animal, na? Forest. Animal. I went to different from Jalpaiguru forest with car. I went to speak Harikatha, they take me to Sikkim border in Assam. Follow. By chance in the midway, our car gone out of order. Everybody can. Any time lion and tiger can come. And each and uh, those who are staying there in the forest, range officer or any man, due to some reason, as a guard, their house is, you know, guard with electrical wire. Main gate, you can oh, enter, or if elephant or any ferocious animal come in, if they touch the wall, fart, they can get current. Follow? They can get current. They cannot enter. Many such, one small boy coming from the school, then in the meantime, beard took away. Or leopard took. Many such cases happening. So, you can try to go to a solitary place, or you can go to forest. You can go to forest, as you like. But, I, but our Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu, or Sada Shastra, Sadhu Guru Vaishnava advising us, don't go to forest. If you go to forest, you cannot control yourself. Big problem. So, usually in forest, we can find ferocious animals. Our mind is the topmost forest where all ferocious animals are there. Our mind is the topmost forest where all ferocious animals are there, staying in our mind. One big writer, I, I read in when I was very small boy. There I read. Maybe it is possible, maybe it is possible to take one ferocious animal from forest. Many people doing one very baby leopard or lion baby. They need to take and steal and and that leopard or that lion, a tiger staying in the room, room premises, and they are not developing any such problem. Follow. So one writer writing, maybe it is possible for you to go to forest and take one uh, animal from there. Those who are sarkas, they are buying a tiger and everything from... So they, they are playing sarkas, you know, sarkas, you don't know? Sarkas party, they do. Or lion, tiger, they are buying it. Lakhs of rupees. Uh, so they are training. So this way, maybe it is possible for you to go to forest to take one animal, ferocious, ferocious animal from the forest. But it is really dangerous, really impossible to take out the animal there in our mind, which can be compared with a dense forest. Forest of Tamagun, forest of Rajagun, forest of Anartha. Our mind is full of Anartha, na? Anartha means forest. Anartha means forest, you are in forest. Because Forest means you have no you have no way out, na? Forest all or dense forest. So you have no way out. My I mean your Atma cannot get out. Try to understand. Your Atma cannot get out is of this trap. It is in a trap. So it can be compared with forest. So mind can be compared with the topmost forest. The day we are successful to submit unto a lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava in true sense. Then and there, we can get our success. Not before that. Big problem. 
So, Prahlad Maharaj speaking in front of, so we know forest wind, Prahlad Maharaj wanted to say forest wind, forest wind, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, try to avoid the forest there inside your mind and go to a very nice place, holy place. Holy place means where Guru Vaishnava was there. Vaishnava Sangete Mon Anandita Anukhan Sada Hai Krishna Parasanga. You, you sing this kirtan? No, no, not doing. Not doing. Vaishnava Sangeta Mon Anandita Anukhan Sada Hai Krishna Parasanga. With Guru Vaishnava, we are feeling comfortable because they are not going to speak any material thing. Whatever they are speaking, uh, related to Bhagavad, Nam, Gan, Leela, Parikar, Vaishishto, they are speaking Harikatha. That's why, that is, that's why it is more practical to stay in front of Guru Vishnu so that they can indicate that it is your fault, this is your fault, try to rectify, and you can, then you can get respite. Anartha is fully there. I can do Hari Bhajan, how possible? Anartha must go away. From that is why they are so... Pallad Maharaj speaking to uh, Hiranyakashipu this way and whenever speaking the name of Vishnu, because Hiranyakashipu thinking, Vishnu is my enemy. Why? Because you can remember, his brother Hiranyakho was killed by Baraho Bhagavan. His brother, younger brother, Hiranyakho, great affection. My brother is killed by Vishnu. Where is Vishnu? I can trace out. I can kill. If Vishnu is killed, then all demigods can also, because he is the root cause of all creation. So I can kill. This way, Hiranyakho was planning to kill Vishnu is searching, where is Vishnu? He's searching, where is Vishnu? If I can find any day, I can kill. So, is, uh, so my younger brother, my affectionate younger brother, Hiranyakshya, is killed by Vishnu. You are going to speak his name? You don't know Vishnu is our enemy? Foolish. Then Hiranyakashipu is going to charge two teachers. Hiran, eh? Hey, where from there is like, that's all why right? learning this kind of thing. You teaching this? No, no, we never teach. We never teach. We are teaching economics, politics, everything, which is more practical. Economics, politics, more practical. Because by economics, you can plan how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest money. Economics. And politics mean, I, I can... I can save myself, I can put others in trouble, politics. I can ensure, I can ensure my sovereignty. That's more practical. So Rajan, we are teaching politics, economics, everything. And then what from? We don't know. Where from is learning? Believe us. We are not teaching this kind of thing. Where from? Then when Hiranagus was very angry, then they are speaking. Rajan, actually that boy is naturally, it is his natural instinct. Naishargi ki iyam matirasa Rajan, where from he developed this kind of brain? Actually, we are not teaching. This is quite natural with the boy. Quite natural, he is learning. The... Is it possible? Yes, believe us. Naishargi ki iyam Matirasya Rajan, hey Rajan, is a, is quite natural with him. He is quite natural. He is speaking this way. Well, now go. Try to give good lesson to him. Good lesson mean he can learn politic, polit political science, economics, everything, which is more practical. Then, then actually all, you know, Boys are there in the school. And Hiranyakasipu was taken back to the Gurukul again. And they are asking, My son, you speak rightly. Don't speak lie. Don't speak lie. We are familiar. 
Hiranya Gosipu asking, your Guru teaching you this way? I am speaking up and down, uh, previously. So when Hiranya Gosipu is asking, your, your Guru teach you, where from you are developing? How they can teach this? This is absolute teaching. Absolute teaching, no? but not speaking absolute, then again become very angry. Eh. Then Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Nati Bidu Sartha Gotim Hivishnu Dura Sayaji Bahirarthamani Andhaya Thandri Rupuniyamanam Teo Chatanta Murudam Nibadya. That Prahlad Maharaj speaking, they can teach me? How they can teach me? They themselves have no idea. How they can teach me? They, they themselves have no idea. Nate Bidu Sartha Gatim Hi Vishnu. They don't know that Vishnu is the origin, is the absolute interest in the life of all jivas. They themselves don't know how they can teach me. They teach you how they can teach. Nate Vidu Sartha Gatim Hi Vishnu. Dura Sayaja Vahir Arthamani. They have some Annabilas. They are looking with his eyes, hearing, oh, what you are speaking. Though they are material, they depend upon their I, I personally heard you are speaking this way. I saw you doing it this way. They depend upon their material sense organ. They depend upon their material sense organ. That's why they are cheated. So, Pallad Maharaj speaking, how they can, how they can teach me? They themselves have no idea. Uh, at, and uh, after all, their mind is always running towards outside thing, now not going inside. Antar dishti, they, they they don't have antar dishti. Only bahir pragga. They can see only outside. They cannot see their own heart. They are actually blind. They are actually blind. Now question is that, who can appreciate Hiranyakashipu? Who can? Who can appreciate? Those who are demon. Those who are demon, those who are themselves Hiranyakashipu. One, one Hiranyakashipu. If you go to Sri Lanka, if you go to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, you can find everybody worship Ravan. Yes, if you speak anything, they can slap you. Doing arati, you are laughing, you can go, you go there. They are doing arati every day of Ravan. You speak something bad, they can slap you, kill you, cannot speak. So those who are Ravan, those who are of Ravan nature, they can love Ravan. Those who are Ravan nature, they can love Ravan. Those who are Hiranyakasipu nature, they can love Hiranyakasipu. It's quite natural. Those who are Hitler nature, they can love Hitler. So what wrong did you are uh, idiot number one? What I wrote very joking way. Those who are themselves Hitler or of uh, this bhajan field, they like to become Hitler, they can naturally. So what wrong did you? Oh, so calculation. <laughs> Going to disturb. Quite natural. They themselves Hitler. That's why they like Hitler. So no wrong in man of same and uh, same feather flock together. Rajasthama prakriteyo samasila bhajan dibhi. If I have love for Prabhupada, how you can, how I can develop love for other people? How I can? At a time, not possible. How it is possible that I can love, also I can love Prabhupada. At the same time, I can love such a devotee, so-called devotee, who can insult Prabhupada. Impossible. This is one kind of drama. Pure love never can make any compromise. Pure love can never make any compromise. We cannot expect. You can love Prabhupada and Vasudevji. How possible? At a time, not possible, no? If you love Prabhupada, you have to drop it. At a time, you cannot do. Night and day cannot stay together. Can stay? Not possible. Daytime, night cannot stay. Nighttime, day cannot stay. Raji, Ravi, Rajani, Nahi Mile Exam. Tusidaji writing, night and day, I am Robi Rajani, I mean sun and Anna, can stay at the same time, night is there. 
impossible. So it's quite natural. So, Parlatma is speaking, how they can teach me? They are guided by the chairman. Chairman who? Their material mind is chairman. Their, their material mind is a chairman. They are guided by that material mind chairman. So how you can expect they can teach me about Vishnu? Because for all jivas, for all jivas, countless infinity jivas, their self-interest is Vishnu. Their self-interest is Vishnu, but they don't understand. Because, because the self means material body. Self means they think material body is I myself, I my, this is my house, my wife. So the self means self mean they cannot transcend, they cannot cut this material body. Self means they think material body and mind, this self. I myself have seen, I myself have seen, you are doing it. Oh, you yourself have seen. One incident, one nice store, practical incident, I know, some incident, you know. One yogi, he was arrested by police. Why? Some man was murdered nearby. So yogi doing bhajan. So one man was murdered. So police coming to interrogate. Uh, come to the police station. Thing. And finally, what happens? Finally, what happens? That yogi is speaking because in court case going on, witness box, a yogi is standing, and the man uh, who was caught as a murderer, he also put, uh, also pleader is there to defend him. Then going on argument, then some pleader speaking, you have seen him to murder? You have seen him? Yogi is speaking, yes, I have seen him. Ha! Liar. How you can see? You are old man, over eight years. 90 years over, almost. How you can see? My Lord is speaking live. A old man of 90, how can see? How can see? That's why. Then big problem. Everybody is saying, really so? He's old man, how he can see? Uh, the murder place is long distance. How is it possible for him as an old man? Then you see, then he is speaking. Okay. You can see there is one mango tree outside this court. Yes. Then one of you can go outside and watch. There is one red ant going from down to up in queue. <laughs> Where is mango tree? You go and watch. You go and watch. Any one of you can go and watch. There is some ant, red ant going from up and down to up in queue. I am giving the material example for your understanding. Then really one man gone and watching, really so? One hand. So how is possible for long distance a yogi watching? They have yogic power, no? He's watching. So what about devotional power, bhakti? If yogic power, you can see something material thing, you can see. But those who are devotee, pure devotee, their darshan is so perfect. They can see anything. Follow what I say. So this way, actually, those, those jivatmas, they can see only stool and urine, like Hiranagasu. Money, woman, position, they can see. They cannot see Vishnu. Vishnu cannot see. Because who can see Vishnu? Kunti Devi already told. Kunti Devi already told. Who can see Vishnu? Who can see Guru Vaishnava in true sense? Many people coming in front of Guru Vaishnava, but they have the material life. They cannot see the heart of Guru Vaishnava. Kunti Devi already told. Janmai Shajya Shuto Sivi Redo Mano Madhap Mano Naiva Arhati Avidatum Bhai Tama Kinchana Bhochana. Those who are full of proud, false ego, due to their Due to their taking birth in a high family, very rich family, rich, all riches they have, or they are educated very much, very handsome looking, beautiful looking, can be there, all material things. So Kunti Devi is speaking, 
Janmai Sajjo Suto Sivi Redo Mana Madha Hapa Mana. Those who are puffed up by the backing of these kind of things, they can never get you. They can never get you. You are only, you know, only those who are pure devotee, niskinchan, only they can see you. You can become an object of their tattva darshan. You can become an object of their tattva darshan. They can realize. So, janmai shadya surto si viredo mana madahapu mano naiva arhati avidatum vai tama kinchana gocharam. Only those who are akinchan, niskinchan, only they can realize. So, Pallad Maharaji niskinchan. Pallad Maharaji niskinchan. Who is niskinchan? If if in your life, if in your life, you can, if, if in your life you can discover there is no property except the lotus feet of Bhagavan. If, if you can discover there is no property in your life, only lotus feet of Bhagavan. Like Pope was speaking, even after making 24 uh, 64 temples, even after making 64 temples all around the world, still Prabhupada was Niskinchan. Follow, Niskinchan. Owner of this infinity world is Krishna, infinity world. Ishwaraha Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakaram. But Krishna speaking, I am Niskinchan. Niskinchan you are. Yes. You are playing with Gopikas, everything. I am Niskinchan. I am Niskinchan. So, how that kind of joking took place between Krishna and Rukini? To Rukini, Krishna speaking, I am actually Niskinchan. I have nothing. Why you unnecessarily marry me? You are, you know, daughter of a big king. You see, I have no kingdom, nothing. Well, you better you can leave me and go and choose one very nice, you know, prince. He can marry. Rukini thinking maybe he is speaking uh, seriously. Krishna joking. And Rukini thinking maybe seriously speaking, he uh, he like to leave me. And then Rukini become faint, fall down on the ground. Then Krishna immediately catch and giving water and hand hand pan there. What happens? Eh? What happens to you? You cannot speak properly. Then Rukini started speaking. Really, you are Niskinchan. Krishna speaking, Krishna speaking all Tattva Siddhanta, but in a very tricky way. Krishna speaking all Tattva Siddhanta, but in a tricky way. Like I already told you, I wrote in the article. Does eh? Risayo Parakshabadi, Risayo does Rishimani. They are in favor of indirect teaching. I too like indirect teaching. Krishna speaking. Those Risayo, Risayos, Parakshabadi, Ahamcha Parakshapriyam. I also, I too like Paraksha. Parakshancha Mamapriya. Parakshancha Mamapriya. I like that. Directly I don't speak. Follow. Directly you speak, it's not good. Follow. Then, Krishna speaking, Rukini actually have done a great mistake in the beginning. I have no kingdom, nothing. In our destiny, Jadu Bamsa, nobody can become king, is one kind of curse. Curse. One when a curse is there in our destiny, nobody can be. So why you are necessarily marry me? I'm, you, you could marry a nice prince, a nice king. By speaking rightly, I'm, eh? and I am actually in Niskinchan. Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking. I am actually in Niskinchan, and Niskinchan is Janoit Priyo. Krishna speaking. I am Niskinchan. And those who are Niskinchan, only they love me. I don't understand. I am Niskinchan myself, 
And those who are niskinchon, they only love me. That is why. That is the rules. Niskinchana janai. Aham niskinchana, aham niskinchana, niskinchana janai, janai priya. Those who are niskinchon, they love me. So what do you mean by? Because we know oishajyasya samagyasya, vidyasya jasya sriyo, gyan vairagya shivyo saro iti bhago nana. All Bhagavan is the topmost enjoyer, Bhagavan is the topmost detachment you can find with Bhagavan. Topmost detachment you can find with Bhagavan. Nobody never can say. Follow. So Bhagavan in his kinchan, why? Infinity, world, infinity, Brahmanda, all your Brahma is not mine. That I am maintaining what to do. But my property is only the lotus feet of Simati Radharani. The lotus feet of Simati Radharani is my only property in my life. The lotus feet of Simati Radharani is the only property in me. That's why I am Niskinchan. <laughs> Niskinchan, you understand? So Niskinchan is very careful you are to be. So, Pallad Maharaj, Speaking this way, Niskinchana, I know, Prahlad Maharaj is Niskinchana. So, those who are demon, those who are having external vision, no inside vision not there. So, how they can teach me this way? Anyway, Prahlad Maharaj was again taken to Gurukul and Hiranya uh, on uh, Shondo Amarka asking, where from you are teaching? You speak rightly because we never teach you. This way of speaking. After that, Sham Dan Ved Dondo. In politics, in politics, four different kind of things you can find. By the which material people can be given treatment. In politics. It is the basic politics, fundamental. In politics, four kind of principles you can apply to come out successful in your mission, dirty mission. Four. Sham, Dan, Bhed, Dondo. Four things, you must learn it. Sham means, this is the nature of the spy, spy you know, spy. In India, we have one topmost spy. Topmost spy. Follow in India, one spy. He is so clever. In whole world, any problem happen, he can solve. I am not going to glorify him anyway. I am giving example. Okay, example. Critical situation, impossible to solve. Impossible. Nobody can solve. No father, he can solve. Continuously, he was there in Pakistan for 14, 15 years as a spy. Follow. He was there. To, I don't know, to, uh, to know something. Anyway, this was... So, what I mean to say, Hiran actually Sondo Amamarko. They are going to apply four different kinds of things. The spy they are applying. So nice they made friendship. They're going to arrest. But first of all, they are going to make friendship with those criminals. After that, gradually can enter into, into their heart. Then they can arrest them. Follow. So, it is the basic principle in politics. Sham means very sweet language. You can appreciate, you are the only, you know, how we can expect, how we can go to others. In my life also, one Acharya, criminal, I don't like to name his. He wanted to use me at his, as his, as his right hand. He wanted to give me so many facilities. I, I say it is not possible for me to write. You are there, 
in the temple. So how I can go to other man? It is not good for you also. You are the, you know, he is going to appreciate me. Not in our temple, other temple. He is going to appreciate me. So that he, I can become his right hand. He can do anything. Follow. But he, finally he find, I am not, I can, he can never make me his right hand. Then he become angry. Follow. So first of all, some, some mean, sweet word, done. Hey, you can give Maharaj. So many things is going to give donation to me. So that I can be, oh, he's giving donation. Some done. Bhed. After that, going to do, if you don't do, then big, big problem is there waiting for you. Do you know? Then go to Bhed. This is called Bhed. Go to give, show them fear. For if you don't do it, then you have to Bhed. A Dandavan, finally, if he is not successful, I can Dandavan punishment. So Hiranak Kashibu also going to follow. Hiranak calls. I actually, a Shondu Amar, finally. But problem was not solved because Nityananda, Nityananda is there inside the heart of Prahlad, which can never be killed. Finally, when again he was taken in front of King Hiranyakashipu, then again same question, then he started speaking. Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Sparanam, Padu Sevanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasham, Sakshmatma Nivedanam, Iti Pungsar Pita, eh? Bhakti Shet Navalakshana, eh? Iti Pungsar Pita, Bhakti Shet Navalakshana, Creator, Bhagavati Adhya, Tanmani Adidamuttamam. Finally speaking. First of all, Prabhupada Maharaj is very angry. But Hiranak, uh, uh, but the two teacher, professor, going to give some uh, consolation. Oh, king, he's a small boy, five. You are going to mind a small boy, four or five, can speak anything. Why you are going to feel tension? A small boy can speak anything. Now speaking about Vishnu, a small boy speaking anything. He has no brain, nothing, no. So he can speak anything. Why you worry? Then Hiranyakashipu somehow leave the case. Because father of, they wanted to give consent. The king is five, four, five years, four years, five years. Oh, what he can know? And maybe he is speaking about Vishnu. What is concern to you? Why you feel tension? This way the case was diluted. But after that final, when he came, when he giving the advice to Hiran, Hiranyakashipu about the and nine folds of devotional practice, then Hiranyakas said, no, now no more we can, I can ignore. No more I can ignore. It is dangerous, cancerous disease. Pulladma, Hiranyakas is speaking himself. Now I cannot, now I cannot ignore. First time, okay, you told, but now serious case, it is like cancerous disease. If some disease is going deep into the root, then it is important that amayam, that disease can never be cured. So it's gone deep rooted. So hey, kill him. Then wanted to kill him. Hey, kill him. They all, you know, those demons are coming. Chindi vindi tibadina, kill, kill, kill. Mar, 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 everybody running with trident, this is, you know, knife, sword, all running to kill. Take him, take him to the desert and kill him. Then they are going to kill, take him and wanted to kill him. Put the trident there, ah, a trident passing away from here to there. Purlad Maharaj intact. What happens? Trident going here to there. No problem, no blood, nothing. He is only, only speaking about, thinking about Bhagavan. No problem. They are going to cut. The knife is going through the body of Pallada. No, no harm. 
Then Hiranyakusama feeling nervous. Are, what is this? I never saw. Tried and going through the body. No harm. No you know, problem. What he said, it must be some problem, dangerous for me. It, it is very serious case. Then Hiranyakusama became very serious. He wanted to burn Pallad Maharaj because sister of Pallad Still, sister of Hiranyakusibu, his name is Horika. It was the blessing of Agni Dev to Harika. I cannot burn you. I can never burn you. Any moment. Suppose there is fire all around. I cannot burn you. That's why Hiranyakusibu took decision. Harika, my sister, you can do one thing. You can take the boy in lap. I can set fire all around. Anyway, fire not going to kill you, burn you. I'm not burning. Okay, my brother, as you like. Then going to set fire all around and taking Harika, auntie, taking Prahlad Maharaj in the lap. My God, fire supposed to burn Prahlad Maharaj and going to protect Harika, just opposite happening. Horika now burning, oh my God, burning, whole body. Whole body burning, Harika. Because he is picking up enmity with Palladma. A Palladma, no fire. From fire, Palladma is coming out from fire without any burn. Palladma is coming out a laughing mood. Palladma was, was put into a cave. Cave, you know? That is there, not that I am. Not it is one kind of story that Ohaval Nishingo. Night time you cannot go. Everybody noon time after late noon they come back because there is leopard everything coming. When all Yatri going, sometimes it is very rare. Yatri almost rare, so high. All beer, snack, all coming out. Ohaval Nishingo. That is a special place where. Prahlad Maharaj was put into a cave and the cave cavity was and in the hole with a big stone. When the stone was you know removed, Prahlad Maharaj was found doing doing his own bhajan, thinking about Bhagavan. Finally, Hiranyakasipu took decision to throw this Prahlad from the hilltop in the ocean. In the ocean. He was taken in the in Vaisak. You heard the name of Vaisak? Visakapattanam. Vaisak. In India. South India. He was taken. There is one hill. From there, they throw Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj thinking, thinking and Bhagavan going to catch him in the lap. Follow. Is there? It is called Jion Nishingo. I speak the name of all Nishingo. Where where Nishingo uh, where Bhagavan Vishnu is going to catch for love, that is called Jion Nishingo. And the cavity in which he was put into Ahoval Nishingo. Prahlad Maharaj was giving poison. Hey drink drink then the poison was given, Prahlad Maharaj. It is called Parnan Nishingo, all South India. All Nishingo Devi, Parnan Nishingo. There Nishingo Devi only, only taking Sharvat solution. That Nishingo Devi only taking Sharvat solution. Parnan Nishingo, it is called. So, is there. Anyway, Prahlad Maharaj, Harmless. So Hiranyakusu was feeling very nervous. Maybe big problem going to happen in the life. Finally, he was disgusted. He was taken in front of. Pallad uh, Maharaj was taken in front of Hiranyakusu. Finally speaking, hey, by whose power you are speaking like this? The same power. The same power. What is there inside you? You are guided by the same power. A whole creation is controlled by the same power. I am also speaking out. Hey, don't speak tall talk. Don't speak like. Huh? 
By whose power are you speaking? He is, where is? Where is? He is actually is staying everywhere. You can find him everywhere. Everywhere. It's in this pillar also? Yes, in pillar also. In this pillar also? Yes. There is Hiranyakashipu provided one fist of fury on the pillar, pillar back down, Amtam then inside, Nishingadev coming. Ha, 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 Nishingadev coming. Follow. Hiranyakashipu could not understand what this peculiar animal is. Half, half lion, half man. A peculiar. Hiranyakashipu thought he is one kind of special animal. How possible? Half man, half lion. It is written by Vishwana Chakotibad. It is written by Vishwana Chakotibad that at the time of death, I can come to this point. At the time of death, Hiranyakashipu could not realize this is Vishnu. His conception was uh, maybe some peculiar animal. Some peculiar animal. He couldn't realize this vision. So, it is written in Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, what Pallad Maharaj told, it is true. To prove it, to prove it, that what Pallad Maharaj is speaking is 100% perfect. Satyam vidhatum nijavitto vahasitam and vaptancha and he is everywhere present. And to prove, and to prove that Prahlad Maharaj not speaking lie. That's why Bhagavan came out. At, at, actually, Bhagavan is everywhere. Each and every dust particle, everywhere Bhagavan. Everywhere Bhagavan, but we cannot see. Hello. It is possible for pure devotee to talk with deity. You can talk. We have seen Guru Mahārāj talking with deity. Follow. With Salagram. Follow. But not for everyone. If you, if you are established in Purna Chetan, if you yourself is established in Purna Chetan, then you can talk with Salagram. You can talk with one pure, perfect deity. Perfect means installed by one pure devotee. Pure devotee installed by one pure devotee and provided it is being worshipped for a long time. There is gapping, I cannot say. You can talk with deities. You can go to Nishingapalli, if you are, then you can talk with Nishingapalli. You can go to Puri, Puri, Nishingapalli, backside Gundicha Mandir, you know? Backside Gundicha Mandir. There are another where Mahaprabhu used to dance. Adhita Gosai. Where? Eh? Gopal left body, no? There. <laughs> After that, Adhita Gosai giving Nishinga Mantra. After that, Mahaprabhu going to touch the heart. Uthoha Gopal, Gopal, what happens? Then Gopal said. That is the place. After Gundicha, after Gundicha Manjan, after Gundicha, after Gundicha Manjan was over, then they all, went to Nishinga Mandir to dance and do Kirtan. Now at present no Kirtan, nobody likes to do Kirtan. Nobody. I at all doing chi, chi, chi. <laughs> Very small. No power to do Kirtan. This Kirtan is not good. To do Kirtan very big way. I find no sound. Everybody weak. Why? Lack of vitamin? Or today you are not going to take any prasadam. It's not good. Kirtan should be enthusiastic way. So anyway, Pallad Maharaj, uh, finally, finally to prove that Pallad Maharaj speaking the truth, then Hiranyakashipu coming up. Also, I forget to speak you, Hiranyakashipu wanted to do Strong astrologies and finances, you know. After that, he received one benediction from Brahma. He wanted to live more, uh, to uh, live forever. 
But man is mortal. You want to become immortal. Immortal. But is man immortal? But Brahma, Brahma wanted to give some benediction, but told you will have to change your benediction. This benediction I cannot give because I myself is not. I myself, I myself is temporary. Though long period, but still temporary. So I cannot give. Then I don't need. Then again go. Again going to do SVT and finances from my again coming. What do you want? I want, uh, I want benediction. Then Brahma say, this way you cannot get. Okay, you need not give this kind of. So if you can bless me that I cannot die night time or day time, not by the help of any weapon, okay. Not by man or animal or bird, anything, any creation in, the, in your crew. Any creature in this creation, nobody can kill me. Well, I bless you. Follow. This way, eh? not outside room or inside room, not by any weapon, not by any man or animal, any creation, a any, 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 anything and any, anybody in, inside your cre creation, nobody can kill. All blessing. After that, Hiranyakashipu thought, I am successful to make full of Brahma. He is an old man. <laughs> Somehow I make full. He is not, a, he is not going to give me a benediction for immortality. Okay. He is an old man, no brain. So this <laughs> I develop. But finally don't know what is going to happen. So he is so powerful. Indra, Barun, they are the servant of Hiranyakasipu. Indra, Barun, they are the servant of Ravan. You know, so power. Indra acting as a servant in front of Ravan, in front of Hiranyakasipu. Hey, come! Yes. <laughs> now, what to do? Finally, what happens? Finally, what happens? Actually, Hiranyakasipu could not expect this kind of danger in his life. He thought, I am actually immortality already I achieved. <laughs> but he is, his name is Vishnu Bhagavan. When Hiranyakasipu was coming out, going to fulfill all conditions set by Hiranyakasipu previously. Not inside, not outside. Not inside, not outside. Not in the space or ground. Not by any uniform. Eh? Nobody in your creation can kill me. Not daytime, night time. Oh, full pain. So Hiranyakasipu eh, was taken in the lap just in the evening time. Not daytime, not, not daytime, not night time. Not daytime, night time. Then Hiranyakasipu was taken by Nishingadev and he was put in his lap. Not outside, in the gate. You can see the picture, gate, not inside, not outside. In the gate. Gate. And also not ground, not air. Not going to take any weapon, only by the help of nail. They did. Tear, tear, tear up, belly. Then all blood, to, like fountain, come to touch the face of Nishingadev. Oh, nice decoration now. <laughs> and all bowels, you know, taken this way. In my childhood, childhood we used to do julan, julan, you know? Julan, Radha Krishna julan. I used to take some, you know, some murti from market. Then I, I can remember, we bought one Nishingadev from market, mud, very nice. At present, you cannot get that time, very costly, but very, very cheap that time. Still, you cannot get. So, Hiranyakasipu, and after that, he was killed, killed mean delivered. But still, he was, he had to wait for another two words because he couldn't understand this is Vishnu, with this conception. Anyway, so this way, he was uh, killed, 
by by Nishingadev. It is evening time. Uh, I mean, all condition were fulfilled. Now, Prahlad Maharaj, when when Hiranyakashipu gone, all demigods they started they started doing stotra, glorifying him. Follow, glorifying him. And Brahma, Sankar, nobody like to go. Even Lakshmi Devi, even Lakshmi Devi cannot come in front of Bhagavan. She fear. She cannot come. Then Brahma is going to request Prahlad, Prahlad, for you, Bhagavan appear. So better you can go. Please go and pacify your, that pacify your Prabhu. Then Prahlad is going smartly, not fearing. In front of Hiranagasibu, in front of Nishingadev, and then Nishingadev going to put his hand on the head of Paralatma and taking in the lap and licking the body. Licking the body, yes. <laughs> and no fearing. Hey, no, that's why Paralatma has told, someday I can discuss today, no time actually, so many seva. So, Paralatma is speaking, Somebody can say, don't fear, this fearful murti. Naham vive mite ati bhayan kasyo jivhar ko netra bhukti ravaso grudang shtat disroka. All anta bowels are coming out, full of blood, everything, fearful, but still I don't fear. Why do you do? Well, I don't fear. Naham vive mite ati bhayan kasyo Jivhar ko netra bhukti ravaso grudang shtat anta srachaha khatajo shanku karanat nirhad abhita digbhad rivinna na khagrat trasta asmi aham kipanabasalo dushagro sangsar jakta brahma this slogan nice but I feel fear I feel fear by watching those who are leading their family life those are material life Those who are leading their material life, I fear by watching the, what they are doing. I don't fear your this kind of fearful murti. I don't fear because I know you are merciful. Externally you are very fearful. <coughs> Internally you are full of mercy. Pallad Maharaj mantra is there. For Asura, Bhagavan became fearful. But for devotee, <coughs> Follow. This is the country. Anyway, again next time when uh, next year can come, I can discuss from different angle. Anyway, today is Nishinga Chaturdasi. So it is our duty. Baba speaking. Guru Mahaj also used to speak. It is our duty today. It is the golden opportunity today. We can invite Nishinga Dev. And we can request him to sit here inside our heart so that all different the kama, krodha, lova, moha, matsuj, all can go away. All they are demon. Same answer, Bhagavan Sri Krishna was bound to give to Arjun. Who has that enemy going to put us in trouble? Arjun asking. Athokkena prajuktvayam. Papan Charati Purushaha, Anicca Nupi Varsaya Baladibo Niyajitaha. Who is forcing him to do this kind of wrong activities? Bhagavan Sikhi's music. No enemy there. Kama Esha, Krodh Esha, Raja Guna Samad Bhabaha, Mahasana, Mahapapna, Vidyana Menam Bhairina. He is there. All demons are there inside you. You are searching outside where is demon. You are blind. Demon is there inside. So, today we can invite Bhagavan Nishingadev. Guru used to say, he, is a, he can help us all the time. Whenever you can remember, he can help us. 
Say, our Nishingadev is giving emergency service. Night, day, no time. Even to night time, two o'clock, you can go. <laughs> no problem. Emergency ward, <laughs> department, in a hospital. All the time. Specially, this Nishingadev is very special. It's, 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 called, it's called Gaur Nishingo. Gaur Nishingo. Actually, this is the place where after killing Hiranya Kashibu, after Karin killing Hiranyakashibu, Nishingadev wanted to take, take rest. The big lake you have seen at the bank. It is from there, Sattaju. Okay? And now next week, next year I can discuss from different angle. Like, you know, those who are from other sampradaya, they are speaking. Uh, actually, it is more practical to worship Ramchandra fast. Because Ramchandra is fast coming, no? and after that Krishna is coming. Uh, this answer I can give. Satya Yug, Teta Yug, Dapar Yug, Kali Yug. They have no, it is eternally present. The another question came yesterday. Jay Maharaj, there was a Nishingo, Baraho, Kurmo, eh, Baraho, Kurmo, all this avatar, uh, we heard eternally present there. Yes, it is present. Then we know Lakshmi Nishingo, Lakshmi Baraho, Lakshmi Kurmo, yes. Then she is putting question to me, that I heard in Vaikuntha Jagat, Bhagavan is there in, in forehand. Forehand. But here when coming in the form of uh, boar form, kurmo, kurmo, tortoise form, this answer I already write, if you like to hear, I can. Actually, Baraho, Nishingo, tortoise, they are eternally present, no doubt. But you will have to think the reason for why he took this form of tortoise. The reason for why he took this boar form. The reason for why he took the form of lion. You have to think. So in eternal world, when somebody is doing the bhajan of Barahadev, Baraha Bhagavan, he can go to eternal world. There is one chamber special. But when he can meet with Bhagavan, he can meet the four-handed Bhagavan, Narayan. Nansaru. But at the same I, I clarify this point. I have no time. But as and when he likes to see Ishtadev, then Narayan can give darshan in the form of tortoise. Kurmadev. Eternally present in forehand there. But Tortoise form is also there in the dham, eternal present. But come out as and when you desire, I like to see my Ishtadev Kurmadev, then immediately can get that, take darshan. But all the time in the form of forehand. So many secret things I have no time to discuss. And your answer, you can go foolish, you are. Eh? I told, I can embrace, so what wrong in it? What Siddhanta wrong in it? I already wrote, you can get it anyway. So, the slok I started with is very important. Tashmad Priya Priya Vyoga Sangyo Gujanamo Sokaginina Sakala Jani Sudha Jamana Duksha Ushadam Tadapi Duksham Atadhya Aham Bhumonubhamami Badami Tabodas Yogam Vanchakal Padru Sikipasindhu if you feel weak, you can go away, take rest. Maybe two o'clock you can all meet in the Shiv Mandir and go. If you like to go, those who like to go to Nishing. Taranpur. Okay, very much. But now we can go, take rest, no problem. Go away. No problem. So those who like to come, one thirty we are going. A very, very hundred eight pet come I can, cannot do today. No, we can do. There because there is very ras. I think that's why we go that time. Uh, you suggest, you know, that uh, midday and not so many people. Uh, actually, Nishingo Chadudasi today for us, 
Actually, yesterday for material people, Chaturdushi, yesterday. And also the question of saving everything there, no? 